So when I first started YouTube, I didn't want to discuss or talk about in any shape or form my illness. Um, and it wasn't until I was completely consumed by it to the point where I couldn't really hide it, if that makes sense. Not so much hide, but for lack of a better term, um, because it was consuming my life so much that I wasn't able to make videos. This is like in 2011. And um, but what I noticed when I did open up about it, it, it did kind of bring people a little bit better understanding of me. So they kind of understood when I would disappear for a while and also that um, I don't know, it gave some people also some comfort and kind of showing that, you know, your disability doesn't have to hold you back. You can still do the things you want, because sometimes when people are, you know, maybe they they become disabled and they feel like the world kind of is taken away from them. And that's that, that's kind of a natural feelings that happen. But sometimes you need that little poke of inspiration to show that, you know, you can do stuff. You just have to do it in your own way. And that's totally fine. I'll be with you in a minute. So you just have to <laughs> quiet down, Jelly. Uh, you just have to find your own way. And that's what I always try to try to convey to people. And why, you know, way back in the day when I did like the four or five Twitch panels for people with disabilities was you just have to find your own way. Because sometimes the way that that, you know, the standard way is not going to be the way. Yes, you live your life on hard mode, but there's always a way up. You're being very needy, Jelly. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad, um, I'm glad, you know, the video is bringing you some comfort. That makes me happy.